Master Xeon 1001 here, and in this quick video, I wanted to just discuss the Alt B viewport submenu in HardOps 0097. So, whenever you're using uh, 2.8 with HardOps, um, the Alt V menu has been changed in order to take advantage of EV. I've been spending quite a bit of time in EV, so I figured I would um, spend a little bit of time creating an optimal render setup similar to the render sets and cycles I'm not sure how many of y'all used them but the idea was to create a workflow for quickly getting to a nice looking render for taking screenshots and doing whip updates so right now in my shading view you can see that I have a shadow cavity on but right here is kind of what the 3d view typically looks like um, reaching my mouse up here to click these repeatedly was something that was getting old but I do enjoy going into random AR was showing me how great it looks with mat caps and random and shadows and I admit it gets addictive uh, however you can also press alt V and choose to go to EVHQ and this will actually set EV up to a high quality viewport whenever you jump to say look dev um, we jumped this back down and it also comes in handy whenever you're um, doing things like box cutter live and you want to be able to see the cut that you're doing I forgot I was a uh, rain let's jump back to a regular tool and so being able to see these sort of things in real time have feedback is amazing so in this example we'll press alt V jump over to HQ alt V turn off overlays and from here we have a a nice looking scene. Um, another thing is with the lights, uh, I'm using left mouse click still calibrating to left mouse click. It's gonna take a minute. Um, but if you select a light and you press Q, you do have options for not only the contact shadow, which uh, in my opinion improves the relationship of lights with objects, but also the uh, global uh, parameters for that that are located deep inside the render setting. So the full screen workflow that I've, I've become used to, um, I began to calm down a little bit on, you know, with the new 2.8, like, uh, you know, we could press the control space bar to maximize the view using the 2.8 default key map at this time to maximize it. And we see that full screen just isn't what it used to be. Um, and maximizing it to the monitor at this moment actually gets rid of my mouse cursor, which is just terrible. Uh, in the modifier helper, I'm going to go ahead and jump this to angle and uh, set 45 so that way whenever I draw this cut the bevel doesn't disappear um, but I just wanted to take a moment to uh, show you this um, to break it down we have overlays of course for simplifying it taking place of the uh, quiet view um, we have high quality and low quality so if you um, want to get AO and sh contact shadows and cavities and all that. I mean, the options are context sen sensitive based off of which menu that you're in. For example, you won't see uh, the light caps that you would see over here in the uh, look dev inside of, say, shading. Shading will only show you what's relevant. So if we jump over to studio, we look inside of here and it's showing all of the um, you know studio setups and we can jump it over to mat cap change the mat cap to something so maybe not that one I still look at it every now and then though so in a nutshell that's pretty much uh, the alt V menu I just recommend if you're getting an EV and you're having some fun with it to uh, just give it a try um, see how you like it. if you come up with any ideas or changes for it um, you know let me know the idea was definitely heavily inspired by um, some of the stuff machine was posting on Twitter However, um, I felt his approach was a little bit more heavy compared to uh, what I was going for personally. But if you are curious, um, I do, uh, I will put a link to Machine Tools in the description. So definitely check that out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.